I'm Addie Fortman, a research scientist at the Scripps Whittier Diabetes Institute. The brief video that follows describes a research study that we've designed to improve the care and outcomes for people living with type 1 diabetes. Thanks for watching. My name is Terry, and I'm the world's luckiest man because I've had type 1 diabetes for 48 years and I'm still healthy. I'm a bike racer, so I'm very sensitive to insulin. I need to check my blood sugar very often. However, in the hospital, my blood sugar is only checked four times per day. Once it was 120 and dropping, and the staff wasn't going to check again for another six hours. Another time, a nurse set an IV insulin drip that I knew was too much for me, and my blood sugar was at 85. I couldn't get her to do anything about it. I called my wife in panic, and she drove to the hospital at midnight and had a fit until the nurse finally called the doctor. It seems like some nurses don't know how different type 1s are from type 2s, and how different I may be from another type 1. We know that measuring glucose levels four times a day simply is not enough. Optimally, it should occur continuously, similar to heart rate, oxygen levels, and blood pressure. With continuous glucose monitors, patients have shown positive outcomes. However, CGMs are not approved in U.S. hospitals. Thus, we propose a study that will prove the value of CGMs in the hospital. This study would provide CGMs, an especially trained nurse, to 100 adult inpatients with type 1 diabetes. CGMs will alert staff if a patient is trending toward hypoglycemia or severe hyperglycemia. A standardized glucose management algorithm, which incorporates CGM data and validation point-of-care testing values, will be used to achieve optimal blood sugar management. Patients who underwent standard procedures in the year prior, a control group, will determine if our approach makes a difference. We are confident that this study will provide valuable information on the ability of CGMs to improve important outcomes for individuals with type 1 diabetes in the hospital. I'm really excited about this study. Us type 1s are scared of the hospital. But if we knew our blood sugars were going to be watched constantly, it'd be an amazing relief. Funding from people like you will help to make this idea a reality. Go online to learn more.